Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, every one of you. This is the day the Lord has made. Come on, let's say it together. We always say it. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad to be in it. We are living in glory days. I don't care what you're hearing from the mainstream media. We are hearing these are glory days, not gloomy days. And I'm telling you something, saints. Whenever the enemy screams the loudest, that means he's on the way out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And we have our special guest, which is really not just a guest. She's a friend. And we love and appreciate her. And God has used her mightily to inspire, encourage, and equip, and impact. Oh, that's a lot, Holy Ghost. Wow. Woo! I'm feeling good. <laughs> the body of Christ. And you know what? It's going to get better. And so I'm going to bring on Julie Green, and we're going to uh, just get some good information out there. And we need you wonderful saints right now. Go ahead and tag your friends. Go ahead and tag them right now. All you, we all are Julie Green followers because why? She follows the Lord and she does, she's doing the Lord's work. So tag your friends because we're going to get this information out. Nothing has stopped. Okay. All righty. Just reroute it, but it hasn't stopped. So come on aboard, Julie Green. God bless you. God hey. bless you. And thank you for having me on once again. <laughs> Amen. Well, this is great. And people are wondering, uh, they don't like to have coffee without Julie. You know, <laughs> I've actually heard those comments. Oh. Uh, one lady said, oh, uh, in the morning, I get up, I have my coffee, I read my daily word, and then I go to julie's or youtube the page to see what the lord has to say through her and so um you know what saints because of technology we can reroute things yep. okay and right. um i don't i never like to use the word i've seen it a lot julie where people say oh look what just happened you know oh the enemy is busy don't ever give him <laughs> that 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 don't even give him that. Right. You know, I always end it with what the Lord is doing. Even Jesus says that the thief comes in to steal, kill, and destroy. But he never stopped there. He said, but I have come that you may have life and life abundantly. Saints so don't end it with what the enemy is doing. Because the enemy is doing what he's doing because he's losing. Mm -hmm. You know, the only thing I give him credit for is that was one thing that he knows. There's only one thing that he knows that the that this Bible tells us, Julie, that his time is short. Yes. <laughs> That's all he, yeah, he knows his time is short. Even Jesus, when Jesus told Judas they had the enemy in him, he said, what you do, you do quickly because you got a short man though. But yep. then God, but Julie, I'm gonna let you have the floor. Talk to us. Well, I feel like you guys know you know, uh, no matter what your enemy does to you, God is bigger. God is greater. And just like, you know, when they try to silence somebody, remember, we have the line of the tribe of Judah on the inside of us that will roar even louder in this time. So God always has the final say. And that's what I have in my life at, at any time. And what happened to me this morning, one of the things I said was, I said, God, what do I do now? And he said, do you remember David and Ziglag? And I said, well, yes, of course. And he said, what did I tell David? And I said, well, you told David, uh, pursue, overtake, and recover all. He goes, and I'm telling you to do the same thing. And so no matter what is going on in your life, and you may get knocked down, and God just, if you, you just sit there and you believe and trust in God. And again, you put all the cares, and this is one thing that's important right now, is anything that's happening to you, you put those cares in God's hands and you say, God, I give it to you. I thank you, Father God. I may not understand this. I may not know exactly what's going on, but I thank you, Father God, that you are in control of the situation, not me. Your hands are bigger, not mine. And I just want to thank and praise you, Father God, that I win because I am on your side because you always win. And so that's what we have to do when we are in these battles that we're facing in our lifetime is we can never just lay down and quit. Never even just for a day or two or three, not even just for a few hours. 
get right back up because Micah chapter seven, verse eight says, when I fall, I shall what arise. One thing that happens when you do get knocked down in a fight, you're not knocked out. You may get a hard punch. You may get a, a hard blow that you didn't see coming, but it doesn't matter because God says you always win. In 2 Corinthians 2, 14, he always causes us a triumph. And the one scripture, another scripture that came to my mind this morning is that Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 30 and 31. When a thief has been caught, he has to give it back seven times. And so it doesn't matter how much has been taken from you. When a thief has been caught, he's got to give it back seven times. So a thief has been caught by a lot of people. And what we're going to say, and I even point out the window, and I said, in Jesus' name, I thank you, Father God, that you're not only restoring, but just like he gave me the example. And it was funny because what the Lord was putting in my heart today about David and Goliath, about this big, huge giant that David was up against. And one of the things that David said was, today, God will deliver you into my hands. And he actually had me say that. And so, but when Manuel called me, he said, Julie, I had a dream about you. And I'm going to have him tell you, tell it to you because it went along with what the Lord was putting in my spirit this very morning. He had no idea the dream he had last night was actually something that was going on even in this ministry in the middle of the night. And so that's what God puts on the other hearts of the body of Christ. Remember, we're the body of Christ. We come together and we unite against the enemy and so when he what he was putting on my heart about david and goliath hmm remember we have a covenant and these people don't so guess what happens they lose it only takes one look at it only took one stone with david that's it one stone but again it says in god's word touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm that's another scripture that came to me this morning so I want to let Manuel share, but it was going along the lines of exactly what the Lord is putting on my heart. And my uh, CEO, Mary Lou and myself were praying this morning about the situation. And some of the things that Manuel said was actually something that he had in his dream and he was uh, uh, about to share with you. So I don't want to take any more time. I want you to share with him. <laughs> that, that's good. Saint Julie Green has a website. Okay. You can, you can go there. Bingo, Julie, you, know, right? you can go to her website and she'll, it'll give you all the information, how you can connect with her. Also, she is every day, rumble.com, rumble.com. I the link, it's on this YouTube video. Simple. You just go to rumble.com, Julie Green Ministries. You, you're going to get it. Nothing has changed. It's just been rerouted. Okay. That's all it is. You know how the GPS we have in our car if it's just a block, they will reroute you. Okay? Remember this. you got to share this broadcast. It's nothing has changed. It's been rerouted. God, re, they did, God rerouted them when they came out of Egypt. He rerouted them. All right? He had, a, he had, a, he had another way. Why? Because he was putting the enemy in a trap. Woo! Glory to God. You know, it, 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 I love the way the, the, the Bible tells us. Saints, it's a win-win-win. It's a win, win, win. Okay. Nothing was lost, just rerouted. And so you can go to her ministry, Julie Green's ministries. Uh, you know, uh, like you must share this. We got to get it out. And so there will be times, you know, I'm going to bring Julie Green on uh, more on. And we, you know, and so don't worry. We, it's, this is glory days, not gloomy days. Okay. Already gloomy for the wicked, glory for the righteous. But we stand together. We stand together. We love her. And she's going to read a lot of your good, wonderful comments and on the chats and all that. You let her know how much you, you love her. And you put on the comment. Put on those comments. Rumble.com. Julie Green. Rumble.com. Julie Green. I'm gonna let people see it. Get it out there. All right. And God is doing a wonderful thing. Now, I'm going to tell you about this um, dream I had last night. I get a lot of dreams. I get a lot of dreams. And 
Uh, this was the first one I had a dream, and Julie was part of the dream. And see, God has a sense of humor because uh, in a natural, I would not be driving this car. All right. But uh, God can control things in a dream. So <laughs> that's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> God can control things in a dream. He can make you eat things and do things that you know they wouldn't do in a natural. You know, remember Peter, you know, kill and eat. Oh, no, Lord. No, you're going to kill and eat. <laughs> so I had this dream and it was interesting. Um, and I'm getting a lot of, God is giving me the interpretation of it. And, and I'm sure there's even more revelation. So I'm going to give you all that God has given me. And so the dream was I am in this car, this Mercedes Benz G wagon. Okay. Now, do not get offended. This is something I don't drive. Okay. If you, if there's somebody watching this and they got a G wagon, God bless you. All righty. It's, it's not my preferred. All right. I, 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 I don't, you know, but anyway, God used the G wagon. It was this black, powerful G wagon. Woo. And I'm in it. I'm like, and you know, I don't know if it was mine or not, but I just know I was driving it. I had the keys. So, and I'm driving. And next thing you know, the, the Lord's telling me, you need to slay Goliath. And you do not, and you need to have Julie slay Goliath, and you need to help her. That's the words. God, I'm in a G wagon. He says, "We're gonna slay Goliath. Julie's gonna slay. You need to help her. She cannot do it alone." I said, "Okay, this is latter day because this is this this is definitely technology because I'm in a G wagon. I'm gonna do that in a G wagon. <laughs> you want me to run him over?" So. <laughs> Glory to God. So God has a sense of humor. And so, you know, Julie appears out of nowhere. <laughs> you know, she wasn't there. And all of a sudden she's there. And I said, Julie, you, you, you're going to have to go take down Goliath. But God want, doesn't want you to be alone. For some reason, he doesn't want you to believe. I have to help you take down this, this Goliath. And so this was this house. And I'm still trying to figure that part out. It was his house, and there were some things that we were supposed to get at the house, and no, and the real estate agent, for some reason, couldn't get in it. But I was able to. God said the key is around the side of the house. You will find it. And I went around the side of the house. I found it. It was a combination. God downloaded a combination. <laughs> I did. I got the key. I'm in the house. Beautiful house. I got a bunch of things that I needed to bring down Goliath. So I do the equipment. This is part because I'm in more of it. More of it's coming to me. I do the equipment in the back of the G wagon. Julie is so humble. So I'm going to pick her up. She's there. She is so humble. She goes, oh, hi, Pastor Manny. <laughs> you know, I don't think Julie likes G wagons either because she didn't compliment the car at all. So, <laughs> okay. so I, I'm going to. So she goes and she goes. All the equipment's in the back seat. And she goes, oh, I'll sit in the back seat. There's no big problem. You know, I won't be in trouble. I'm like, no, oh, God wants you in the front seat. We got to we gotta get this uh, Goliath. So she gets in the front seat. She is so humble. The gentleman in the, the, that was helping us was in the back seat. And we're going towards this thing. And, I mean, it was like I had, like, 100% confident that this Goliath was coming down and, it, and it's like, Lord, what is the urgency? She says, now, now, now you got to bring it down now. Well, the G wagon represents war because back in the days of the forties and the fifties, they used the G wagon. It was, it wasn't luxury back then. It was used for uh, a military because it was made out of steel. See, right now, it's more of a luxury item, but then it wasn't. It was just for military use only in the Germans. And wouldn't believe, you know, so the Iranian Shah designed the G-Wagon. So I looked all that up. I go, okay, that's what it was for. 
So it was as long as we were in the G wagon, we can take down, we were able to take down Goliath just by our words, just by the, you know, and then we can throw whatever equipment, whatever God, but our words were going to do the biggest damage. So I woke up from that dream and I realized, and I didn't know anything that had happened to Julie's YouTube channel. So I said, I got to, I got to call Julie. I got to tell her about this dream. I got to tell her what's going on and I'm supposed to pray and help you. And then I look at my phone. What? What? You know, so I did the typical Christian reaction. Devil, you a liar. <laughs> I rebuke you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to call Julie right now. I thought I was going on. Praise, you know. And then she said what was going on, blah, 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 blah. But I remember a few weeks back that God had put it on my heart to talk to Julie about Rumble.com. Well, she, praise God, she is already on Rumble.com. And now it's going to build up even more. But now I realize why God had me to say that. It's to, you know, to let Julie know, keep that going because that's going to, that's going to be a, a foothold. And I'm going to keep saying it throughout this time. Well, we, we're going to be here just not too long because there's another appointment for Julie. But I, I want to let you know, saints, that Julie mentioned something earlier. The scripture says a righteous person may fall seven times, but they'll get up. Okay? So there, you remember the enemy only has a chance to do a blow on our ankle. But we put a bruise on his head. Remember that, okay? Do not think this is a big thing, okay? Whenever something like this happens to me, I always says, Lord, I don't go, I don't use the word, Julie, oh my God. I use the word, look at God. And I always speak because my, my wife, my wife, she will go, honey, did you just see what happened? You said, I go, I go, Lord. I said, Shiva, listen to me. God's going to bring good out of it. I immediately speak that. I immediately release that. I said, watch God make good out of it. I have literally said it so many times. And I have seen the enemy pay back several times. Okay. Remember, I spoke to you, wonderful saints, on the, uh, a few times on the last, I said, do not think that there's no retaliation. Okay. Julie, me, Robin, come on, Christo, Amanda, Steve, Johnny, all of us experience retaliation. Why? Because we are shining a light in darkness. But the Peter, John, retaliation. Don't speak in Jesus' name or we're going to, what? What did they do? They went to their partners. They went to their followers. They went to their 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 their, their brethren. And the scripture says they lift up that voice in one accord and said, Lord, give us more boldness. Give us more signs and wonders. Lord, I we pray Julie would become even much more known on Rumble. Or any other uh, live streams. And all the live streams he's been invited to. All the live streams he's been invited to. You know, I'm encouraging Julie to let them know. You can they, they get on Rumble. Get on Rumble. Remember. So I put a link on there. Link. Rumble.com. You, you just uh, click that, that link. I made this, this video so user friendly. Even a five-year-old. Could not make a mistake. <laughs> you know, or many of you go to Julie Green's ministry. Go to juliegreensministry.com. It gives you up to update things. I have vowed to bring Julie on more times on my live stream to get to so let everybody know what's going on. I'm going to give Julie the floor. She had, she had a word this morning from the Lord. So, all right, it's going to go out. It's going to go out on our live stream. 
Hello, la na 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 enemy. Huh, it's going out. Go. Julie, it's all yours. Okay. Well, uh, let me pull it up to give to you guys because that's something that, again, God wants us to know. He wants to hear the word. So this is a word I actually had given out. I pre-recorded this video um on Saturday morning. And and here it is. Let me. It's called Your Enemies Have No Idea What's Coming for Them. And I heard this prophetic word on May 6th of 2022. So this is what it says. For I, the Lord, this day, am letting you know, my children, I am in control and in charge of the host of angels that have been dispersed all over this earth to protect and avenge you in this hour. I am moving my hand and my angel armies have been at the war in the heavenlies against principalities and powers and rulers of the air. That war has been raging and you didn't even know about it. It brought down those strongholds that have been propped up, that have propped up your enemies for centuries. Yes, the power they had been given to enslave this world. How smart the population they thought with such pride and arrogance. Their hearts were hardened and they were allowed to keep pursuing you, my children, until it entrapped them in their ultimate destruction. Your enemies have no idea what's about to happen to all of them and all their plans. They will experience defeat and destruction like never before. They will not be able to regroup and again to try to regain their power. I have stripped their powers away and everything they hold dear will be lost to them. The desires of all nations are coming in in these days that you were living in. I'm ripping away all financial prosperity they once had, and they chose to love over even their own family members. Many have sold their souls to the devil himself, and they will pay for what they have done for all eternity, saith the Lord of hosts. Stalemate. This word will be used to explain what is going on with your enemies and their plans against you. What they are trying to do to pass new laws out of anger and revenge. Just look and see what I do to stop their actions. They will not get away with the war on life. Roe versus Wade will be overturned whether they like it or not. No matter their words or their plans, they will come to nothing. Your enemies do not represent this nation or the people of this nation because they stole their way into power. The angel of death is moving across the enemy's camps. Soon you will see and hear more of them dying. Judgment is hitting them now. Look what they will come out and act like in public. They are losing their minds. Some of them, yes. You are about to hear another congressman die suddenly, and then a senator, old and new, saith the Lord. The more they push back at me the more they will fail in front of the world. They will stumble, fall, and be humiliated. Again, what they wanted for you was death and destruction. And that's exactly what's happening to most of them now. Hypocrisy. This word will be used to describe your enemies in the news. Listen for this word and what they are using in regards to it speaks volumes. They will soon all have egg on their faces, you would say, an embarrassment of all the lies they are being caught in right now, saith the Lord of hosts. A king will be in your headlines. All things they never wanted to reach the public's attention has. Scandals they will also be enveloped in. Oh yes, these are the days many leaders will fall by their own sword, saith the Lord. This is the time in the season for them to reap what they have sown to the world. Penelope, this name will be in your news. Look at what is being mentioned. This is not by accident. There is more to the story that will be revealed. Roman, this name will also be in your news. Exposures will continue to destroy their plans and their narrative, saith the Lord. Chuck Schumer. I will say again, your days are numbered for your arrogance and your pride. You pursued my children and my nation without ceasing, and you will fall like the pharaohs of old. Just like the ones that surround you, 
in this day. You will not get away with what you desire or what you desire, and you will pay for your actions for all eternity. You harden your heart and refuse to repent, and you will pay for every one of your treasonous acts. The world will see your judgment take place, saith the Lord of hosts. Adam Schiff, you opened your mouth in defiance against me once again. You were warned and you ignored my command. You refused to obey and turn back from your wicked ways. You have so much destruction and chaos, or you cause so much destruction and chaos, so now you will receive it in your own life. Truth will flood this earth that you will not be able to escape. Truth exposing you in all your lies and what you were hiding behind. What and who you were hiding behind, excuse me. Your judgment will be great, saith the Lord of hosts. Freemasons, truth shall fill this earth with who you really are and what you have done. The secret society has been infiltrated by me. Each person still belonging to or connected to the secret society will be charged with treasonous and heinous acts and crimes against the world. Every corporation or business you hid behind or used will be exposed as well. Every monument, temple, plan you erected or plotted against this nation or any nation for that matter, I will destroy. It will be all like it never existed. You also pay for all eternity, each and every one of you. You thought all your secrets were safe, but none of them were safe with me. I see all and know all, and I'm the judge over all the earth, and judgment will befall you never to regain your strength or your power again, saith the Lord of hosts. Elizabeth Warren, how dare you stand in front of this nation and speak those absurd words as you have some type of power to stop life and the blessing of this nation. You'll be utterly exposed for every crime you've committed against this nation. You'll pay dearly for all eternity and treason will also be written on you for all eternity and your time is about to expire here on earth, and the world will also see your judgment take place, saith the Lord of hosts. Nazarene, this word will be in your headlines, and look to see what is being said. There is more that appears to be, but again, I say, all will be revealed. Wiseman, this name will be in your news, and this location is also important. More exposures will continue to come out of this place. Purposeful, this word will be in your headlines to explain a certain event. Look for it and listen to what is said next. Remember, I am telling you this before you see this in the news, saith Lord. Seals will be in your headlines and just look at the location. It's also not an accident. Stealth, this word will be in your headlines to describe an incident of your enemies and what they are trying to do without anyone noticing it. That technology will also be mentioned. Danger field, this word will be in your headlines. Remember, locations are important. A major food processing company will be in your news. Scandals will plague this corporation like never before. So much has been covered up. That is now being released, saith the Lord of hosts. Bank scandals will be in major headlines. The banks have been caught with their hands in the cookie jar, you would say. Massive cover-ups, scandals, manipulation, and thievery. You name it, these banks did it, and the major whistleblower is about to expose it all. And these banks will get hit one right after another. And they will lose everything they hold dear. I said before, the desires of all nations shall come in, and all the silver and the gold is mine, and what they have done to them can't be done anymore. A new banking system and a new way to live is about to shock the world and how fast things can change for your good. A major player on Wall Street will be exposed, and that is for the first domino to fall, but it definitely won't be the last. Many will fall and be exposed in this hour. They played with people's lives and manipulated markets, designed schemes and to bankrupt so many and cash in big time for themselves. These are the days for big players to fall, saith the Lord of hosts. 
Hillisburg. This name will be in your headlines. Damage and destruction you will hear about. But remember, my children, do not fear. I will protect you, saith the Lord. These are the days of your deliverance, and no one will stop us. No one will stop us from coming. No one will stop this from coming to pass. And receive what I have done for you this day. Freedom, deliverance, healing, wholeness, and restoration, saith the Lord, your Redeemer. So one of the things that the Lord is saying is that these are the days for your deliverance, and no one will stop it from coming to pass. So it doesn't matter. And something that he also said in the beginning of this prophecy is really goes for what is going on in this world today. For I, the Lord, I say, am letting you know I am in control and in charge of the host of angels that have been dispersed all over this earth to protect and avenge you in this hour. So it doesn't matter what your enemies have done to you. God will avenge. It even says in his word, I'm pretty sure this is Luke chapter 18 and verses 8, and I don't have it open right now, but it said, um, avenge us speedily. So God does. Remember, we don't get revenge. God is our avenger. And he even says in Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 30, that vengeance is mine. That's what God says. Vengeance is mine. The retribution and the mending out and full justice rests with me. I will exact the compensation or the, I will exact, I can't read it all because I don't remember it all, but it was an amplified version. But anyway, he will exempt the, everything that you have been, have been stolen from you. God will restore. He will settle the cause and the cases of his people. That's the last part of that verse. I know I kind of messed up a little bit of it, but again, I don't have it in front of me or I, I don't want to quote it. But again, God has the final say always. So give everything that is going with in your life, everything that you are dealing with right now, give it to God and God. And, and you know, the, the funny thing is, and I, you even ask uh, my, uh, my CEO is with me, Mary Lou, and we were sitting there praying and we were just talking, we were praying and we were talking uh, this morning and then at lunch, right before I got on here, and we have a peace and we just know what Satan meant for harm, God will turn it into something good and it will be far better. So again, God wins. And that's what we have to take away from anything. Any damage that's caused in our life, another door will open and uh, it will be far better. Again, never look at your situation and magnify the problem. You magnify the problem solver, which is God. And he does always cause each and every one of you to triumph in every situation that you're in. God wins and he knows it all. He knew exactly what your enemy was going to do to you before he even do it. Whether it was mental, mental, it was a physical, whether it's financial, it doesn't matter what he's done to you. God knew what your adversary was going to do before he did it. Remember what he said in Genesis chapter three, when he talk to Adam and Eve after they had already eaten of the forbidden fruit. And he said, the seed of a woman will bruise your head. Jesus knew before the foundation of this world, he knew what was going to happen. God already had Jesus come down here for us to destroy the curse that our adversary put in this world. And he already had that shed blood. He knew what he was going to have to do to totally destroy and annihilate the curse and destroy and annihilate any power that your enemy had. Adam was given such great power and he lost it. God knew that was going to happen before Adam did. And God had the solution. God has solutions for each and every one of you today. He has a solution and all you have to say is, God, I take and receive what you have already done for me. I take and receive the victory in that name, by that name of Jesus. Remember, we're washed by the blood, healed by the blood, saved by the blood. We are delivered by that blood. And Satan, you can't defeat the blood. And that's what we need to be declaring and decreeing all the time, whether it's a you're having a really great day. You're having a really crappy day. Doesn't matter. You always put a smile on your face.
Remember, if Satan can't steal your joy, after this one of my favorite teachers of all time, then you can't keep your goods. So keep your joy because the joy of the Lord is your strength. So that's what I wanted to share. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Woo! Glory to God. Saints, I say it every day. These are glory days and not gloomy days. It doesn't mean that you won't have a challenge. Right. It means by the end of the day, you win and God gets the victory. Right? You need to understand that. We are not robots. When things happen, we feel it. It hurts. You know, when they uh, when the uh, Amalekites attack Ziklam, remember David, his men? These are men. Men. They cried. Hey, it hurt. It hurt. You know, God gives us that. Our tears are caught in a jar. But he says, severe for night. Joy cometh in the morning. All right? Julie did not even ask me to do this. No. God gave me a dream. That shows you how much God's hand is on Julie Green. She knows a lot of other ministers got that have live streams that could have got the same dream. All right? But, I, you know, the Lord knows I act right away. That's how I am. You know, I'm not popcorn. When it gets hot, pop! Ooh, pop. Where is the butter? <laughs> but that's how I am. And I'm going to keep saying it because people are still coming on. Julie Green Ministries, that is her website. All righty, you're going to get day-to-day -day information or information about what's been happening. Or go to rumble.com and look up Julie Green. I sent the link right there on this live stream. It made it so user-friendly. If you miss it, oh, I'm not going to even say it, but you just, just, there's no way you can miss it. <laughs> so, and it doesn't mean that she's off YouTube for good. That doesn't mean that. It is right now. All right. But, you know, Julie has a lot of friends in high places. Hallelujah. Okay. Amen. <laughs> All right. She's got a lot of friends in high places. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Woo! You know, that's why the Bible says when God is for you, can be against you. Glory. Right. These are glory days. And he's the most high. So it doesn't matter how big our giants are. God is bigger. That's right. God is bigger than all of this. God is bigger than all of this. But I want you to know that we stand with her. And, uh, and I'm going to mention something. Uh, she didn't, you know, didn't, didn't, you know, we talked about it earlier. And I'm not going to mention any names. Uh, but, you know, you might see me or Julie or us with connected with other people we didn't put it together okay all righty so i'm just gonna say it that way because everyone that may say they are prophet may not really be hearing everything from the lord i know the season we're living in and this is harvest time this is not rapture time and this is not doom days time okay we are not in the tribulation. God made it very clear. Tell my people not to look up because you're not going up. All right. We're going through. Woo. God is looking for good men and women that learn that knows how to stand. Stand. As the scripture says, we stand. What is that? Ephesians. Yes. What does that mean? Stand. Don't get out of the race. Don't get out of the ring. Stand with the word of God, with the helmet of salvation. Come on, the breastplate of righteousness, the word, the sword of truth, the word of God. You know, the, the boots, the shoes, the, prep, the preparation for the gospel. We stand with that. That is the armor of God. It says put on, it never says to take off. Woo, glory to God. All right. So we come together. Julie has assisted me. 
on many of our ministry trips. Her team have come and prayed and, and helped us. And so, uh, you know, we're going to do what we can to make sure the word goes out. And, and so uh, if you're led, subscribe to our, if you haven't, so many of you already have, but if you haven't, subscribe to our YouTube because, you know, I'm going to be giving you updates uh, about what's going on with Julie Green. Just like we were praying in agreement for Crystal. Come on. All right. Your prayers are always needed. You don't stop the prayers. You don't stop the, the, the support. You don't do that. Okay. So we continue to, to move forward and support because, like it says, we're impacting the body of Christ. We're impacting those that are even saved are coming to the kingdom because they're realizing God's word is, is, is what they need. It's what they need. And Julie has a special gift to be able to come every day or nearly every day and speak 30 minutes to 40 minutes into your life. That is not something she was born with. That is a gift <laughs> from the Holy Spirit to be able to do that. Most people... If when they have those kind of live streams, they have to come with different prophets and different voices every day to keep that going. Julie doesn't do that. He comes five, six days a week. You know, whether she has a guest or not, just getting the word out. That's a powerful gift. That's a powerful gift to get up at three or two in the morning and let the Lord just give those downloads. That is a very powerful gift. And that, and you have to understand, the enemy is all about trying to shut the mouths of God's people. That's what happened. That's what Jezebel did. Yes. He was trying to shut the mouths of the prophets. And she couldn't shut Elijah's mouth. Glory to God. Because the Bible says, as, as Julie said, the gates of hell will not prevail. Okay. Jesus made that very clear. The gates of hell will not prevail against the church of God. So nothing that the enemy can do to me, I am part of God's church, it will not prevail. So an enemy cannot prevail against God's church. He can't do it. I speak God's words. I speak God's word daily over my life, my wife's life, over my dear friend's life. I thank God. And so we need to do this. What is your part? Pray for Julie Green. Pray for her family. Okay? Alrighty. Pray for her travels. Pray for her calling. For protection. She travels a lot, just like us. All right? If you, you think, I know you guys are complimenting that, that looking bedroom. That's, that's not her bedroom. You know? Oh, we finally got a chance to see Manuel's house. That's, no, this is a, you know. You know, so, uh, you know, uh, we travel, <laughs> you know, and so uh, don't think this is a president suite suite here. Okay. So we, we travel, but um, I've been testing a lot of backgrounds. So I've been taking a lot of pictures of, 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 of things, you know, my house and other things and all that. Uh, but it's uh, just kind of, kind of, kind of moving things up and kind of changing things up. And I like it. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is, in nothing, it's been, it may have been delayed, but it's not denied. So, and Julie, I, I'm going to, I know you also have another appointment. So we don't want to keep you, but I want you to go ahead, whatever God's put on your heart, Julie. Okay. It's all yours. Well, I just want to, again, I just want to pray for people because that's what's always on my heart is to pray and encourage the body of Christ. So, no matter uh, what you're going through today, I do want to pray over you that you come out. Even if you can't see the victory, even if you can't see the answer, God has got you. And he sees the answer. He sees the other side. And God wants you to see the other side, which is seeing the eyes of victory, not the eyes of defeat. So, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to lift up every person that is watching and thank you, God, for each and every one of them. No matter if they're watching this right now or if they watch it after a while. Father God, we praise and thank you for your glory to fill them up full to overflowing. 
where Satan has been trying to steal in the body of Christ, has been trying to steal people's joy so they don't have any strength to fight him back. Heavenly Father, I thank you right now for the name of Jesus Christ and our special impartation of joy in the body of Christ. We thank you, Father God, that you are raining down your glory. You are raining down this joy unspeakable. You are raining down, Father God, because you are the Prince of Peace. So we thank you that we receive peace. We thank you that your glory is filling their souls, filling their lives, filling their houses, filling them full to overflowing a type of a way that they've never felt. They've never felt so much peace before, Father God. We want to thank and praise you. Every single chain that has been holding them down cannot hold them down from this day forward. It is broken by the blood and by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you, Father God, that you have raised up this army of the Lord. And there is more of us than there are of our enemies. And we thank you, Father God, just like you spoke through Elijah to Gehazi. I thank you, Father God, that they see that they see the victory, that they see there is more of us than there is of them, that they see that the, the angel armies that are surrounding us, they are protecting us, they are, have a host of angels, Father God, that you are right now having them wage war for us in the spirit. So we thank you, Father God. We are choosing blessing this day. We are choosing life this day. We are choosing our victory, and we thank you that our victory has been won by the name of Jesus. So we receive it by faith right now in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father God, every person right now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, a renewing, a restoration, a rejuvenation, a refreshing. I thank you for supernatural strength and increase in their life. In Jesus' name, amen. And a man. Woo! I see that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thanks. You know, I'm going to say it again. Get your glory day hat. Wonderful testimonies. You know, I will not get tired of saying it. I will not get tired of speaking it. Uh, I, we were just in uh, Minnesota. And then we done it was four services. Wow. In in two days. And I'm gonna tell you something. Julie, saints that are watching. Oh my God. The blessings, the healings. People were wearing their glory day and they were getting test testimonies about what God was doing since they've had the hats. I go, you know, this is not a man thing. This is a God thing. It's a God product, you know. Julie has hers, you know, she didn't wear as much, but she has it. <laughs> I got them in both colors. And didn't you anoint those hats with oil? That's right. I, me, yes, I, the Lord, you see, saints, you have to understand, I fear God. I am not in the hat business. I'm not in the clothes business, and I don't want to be, okay? But I am in the obedient business. God will allow somebody it's, this is all new to me. It's all new. It's just, this is not something that I'm going to, oh, I want to, I'm not into the, oh, I got to do the pants and t-shirts and get it all out there, advertising to make money. I'm not, no, 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 no. You know, we write a book, we're going to get it out there. But I, you know, do I have a problem with that? I, no. I had no idea that God was going to do this to me. But he did. And he was very stirring with love to make this hat according to what I saw in the vision. We had no idea what was going to happen. But it, it we, yes, it exploded. And, you know, and I know some people may have their issues with people. I do not. If they're a child of God, they're a child of God. And they have their calling. We just recently found out that Joel Osteen has a hat. And so I don't know. I think one day we're going to see he, he's going to go. He's a glory day. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got a hat you know uh some people on joel osteen's team was watching our plat our uh, live stream julie and wow. they uh, awesome. told joel osteen about it and they ordered so i guess he wanted a hat but and there's some other people that have ordered it but i'm just letting that that are well known because god is touching their heart 
And, and each live stream, I do it because I've seen what God is doing. There, the the testimonies are multiple. Uh, there's multiplying, and I'm talking miracle testimonies. You know, the one that really touched my heart recently was the uh, young man, Julie. Her mother bought him a hat. He's about eight years old, having tremendous problems in school. Tremendous problems. Not getting it, not catching it. She bought him a hat. And he loves it so much. He he started to wear it every day in school. She, she had emailed our ministry. My son's grades have shifted. He is comprehending it now. He is, everything is shifted. The teacher are amazed. And she said, this has happened since he was wearing the glory day hats. The Lord said, the Lord said, I have blessed those hats. Woo! I'm not going to argue with him. So, and, you know, sign of authority, spiritual warfare is in the head. I speak the word. These are glory days, not gloomy days. I thank God for it. These are glory days over Julie Green. These are glory days over Julie Green's ministry, over her family. Okay? All right? Watch how she rises up to this. Say, Lord, we, we now right now, as many are watching right now, stretch your hands out towards Julie Green right now. Lord, strengthen her. Come on. Lord, strengthen her. In the name of Jesus, strengthen her, strengthen her through this time. Lord, we thank you for the glory days. We thank you for the increase that is on her life, that anointing that's on her life. Lord, that nothing is stopped. It just continues on a better platform. And Lord, I'm speaking it right now. Mark my words. Bring her back to YouTube. In the name of Jesus, bring her back to YouTube also. All right, Lord, I'm, I'm speaking it because I'm feeling it. You will be back on YouTube. I don't care if you have to change the name or whatever God tells you to do, but you're coming back on YouTube. Glory to God. We're going to see if she's going to be on Rumble, but she'll be back on YouTube because God gave her that platform. He gave it to her. All right. And just like Ziglag. And she's going to recover all. All right. So when she recovers all, that means she's going to be back on YouTube. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! Glory to God. I'm going to go celebrate. I'm going to, man, I, you know, you know, I'm going to get a piece of cake. I don't have any cake in this house. Anymore. I didn't talk to my wife because she doesn't like the cake. Uh -uh. Oh, well, did that come out like that? My wife's a great cook. <laughs> when I'm in there, she's not a baker. All right. So I don't want any bad rumors. All right. My guy is a good cook. You know. You know, as soon as you were saying that, I will tell you that he already gave me a new name. Woo! For the channel, for the channel, not for the ministry. The ministry is going to stay the same. I'm just saying for the channel. I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, so don't worry. All righty, it's not going right. to be Julie Yellow or Julie Purple. It's so Julie Green. Oh, Julie so, Green. <laughs> so, so I felt it. She'll be back. And Amen. so, he, so follow follow this channel that you're my, you know, my channel, and I'll give you updates. Julie will. You know, she'll text me or call me, whatever, and tell me what's going on. We'll get the word out. All right. And, we, and don't worry. You know, I'm going to have Julie on, on our program more and more because uh, let me tell you something. You know, we, we, we need every part of the body of Christ. It's like I've had, I was with Donna yesterday, very powerful broadcast. We did, it, it, went, it was so good. We had to do a second one, you know. So uh, we, we network with each other. And, oh, uh, and it's a, it's a good thing, all right. And you'll probably see us. We'll probably end up doing a. We probably end up, end up gonna, you know, we're, uh, we're going to uh, South Carolina, right? Uh, yes. So we're for me and and Bo and Julie. We'll probably end up doing a, a live right there with, with with our phones, and get that going, all right. So I'm very savvy, so I can get it going. And uh, I said, hey, look. <laughs> I said, Julie, read off the word for today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, so, saints, I'm telling you, I'm in. I the joy of the Lord is my strength, and it's Julie's strength, and Amen. it's your strength. We want to know, and Julie wants. To, uh, she'll tell you, she loves you, and she didn't tell me to say this, but.
But when, when I called her this morning, you, you know, the biggest thing was on her mind was connecting with, with you saints. That was, a, you know, she didn't say anything. I miss breakfast or I miss lunch. Or, she could have said anything, but she said her heart, she was so, her heart was yawning to connect with her saints with the, her, the saints that, that follow her and on, and on her YouTube, that, that, you know, that's, that's, the, that's, that's the heart of Jesus. Jesus had compassion because she, he saw the sheep without a shepherd in his days. And she, her compassion and the love that she had to connect that, that's, that was a big deal. I go, wow. Yeah. You know, I'm, you know, you know, so I mean, well, I know we're on California time, but it's okay. It's all right. Because she, uh, God's going to do what he's got to do. So continue to stand with her. For those of you that are on, you can connect with Julie nearly every day. Rumble.com. I will continue to give updates and bring Julie on on our YouTube channel. And I'm also on Rumble. Okay. I don't talk about it much. I am on Rumble. You can guess. Yes, I'm no fool. <laughs> I'm on Rumble. You know, you just go on Rumble, Manuel Johnson. Bang! You'll see my face. You'll see the glory there. You'll see it with it. So so we're on Twitter. We're on other other networks. And there were some networks that Julie had mentioned. I didn't even know they even existed. She's on <laughs> networks that, that that no one even knows exists, but she's there. You know, she could say Mars Network, but she's on it. You know, for some reason, Julie's on it. And so <laughs> she knows all these different networks that, that that are out there. But praise God for that. Praise God for that. And saints, I, you know, go ahead and leave your comments and, and, and let people know. You have to share this. People need to know, you know, how to reconnect. All right. And this is a word of knowledge and a prophecy. Julie will recover all and greater. All right. I receive that. So just receive it right now. And I, I feel it. And I'm careful with that. I'm not going to say, well, you know, no, I'm saying this. I feel it in my gut. Glory to God. Woo. So, man, you. Thank you. yeah. <laughs> Yes. And so uh, we'll be traveling. So keep, you know, we're having our service this month, uh, this week and uh, Torrance, California. So um, I, we, I want to thank all of you guys for driving out there to Minnesota. Woo. It's mega soda now. It's mega soda now. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Cause you know, man, we, we did some damage. We just, I'm no, no, I'm not, we not, I know Minnesota need it. Not the damage you think I'm talking about spiritual damage all righty we spoke into the soil of minnesota Judy. Amen. I'm, seriously that's right and i'm saying it i said it in minnesota and i'm saying it now as a black american all lives matter from the womb to the tomb Amen. all right i spoke that into minnesota because it needed to be done and you would not believe the response that hit after that. Woo! Glory to God. So this is good. And uh, we're on the move. Amen. We are. We're on the move. All right. And we, we, uh, my last word that I gave on, on the live stream with Donna yesterday, I said, saints, get off the gloomy train and get on the glory train. Woo! Amen. That's right. Remember, look. This is the, the year of the great exodus. And this exodus is right at their door. It's, we are right at the door. And that's the reason why you're seeing so much opposition. So do not give up on the great I am. The great I am is here to stay. And he has his way. And we are about to see the Red Sea. I mean, whatever you want to say. that bigger than you ever could imagine it's about to take place. So hold on. Because it's about to get very interesting. So, Julie, you want to say anything about all the uh, live streams that you're on, the channels that you're on? Um, you're 
Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I've been on a lot of different channels. I'm, I will continue to be. I'm not going to go anywhere. You can you can go to our website at jgminternational.org. Again, that's jgminternational.org. We will have, we're fixing all of it right now with the video. So they'll be posted up there. Um, uh, we even have like a thing that says what happened uh, to to us. But we will, we will part, we'll start putting videos up there. Uh, again, we're getting a new uh, live streaming uh, for this website now. So you'll be able to have and see all the videos and the prophecies, are, the written prophecies are still there. Okay. So just give us a little bit of time, but we are working on all the videos and the prophecies are the written prophecies are there. You can, you can see it. But again, you go to Rumble, you go to Locals, you go to Odyssey, uh, Truth Social, and Telegram. I'm on all those and I'm still going to have the prophetic words and I will still get them out to you. Because God is not done encouraging his body of Christ. And they can't shut us up. Okay? It's not going to happen. God will shut the mouths of the lions. But the lion of the tribe of Judah is just going to roar even louder than that. So we are not going to lay down and we're not going to quit. I love it. Uh, Saints, uh, I, uh, I know there's a lot of... Uh, counterfeits out there is saying yeah. julie green's ministry oh Be yeah don't, listen to that. <laughs> don't follow that okay mm -mm. listen the julie green message is what what's on here on youtube that's not me that is somebody who's completely they're not good it's not something that's really really good and they're just sharing out the goodness of their heart no 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 we've already looked this person up it was called julie green's message and it's not me. I did not give them permission. They're taking out all this stuff. They're putting things in. It is not my channel. Uh, so it, it's funny how as soon as the other one was taken down, this all of a sudden one pops up. Uh, this is not a good person. This is not somebody who is of the Lord. They are just trying to cash in. So do not pay attention to any of those videos. Just go automatically to Rumble or locals, and I don't have WhatsApp. So if somebody's looking and somebody's saying that I do, I do not have that. Again, I am not on here right now. So if you see a Julie Green message, that's not mine. Unless you see me with other people like Manuel or Bo, or you know, I'm, I'm on somebody who was really well known, then you know it's me. But again, I'll be posting on my website or be posting on uh, rumble.com all the time. So don't pay attention to other things. And look, you can see once you pull up that person's web or that person's channel, that's obviously not of me. You can see the content they had in there and it's not good. And if it's not good, it's not of God. So, uh, so just ignore what they are saying because it's, that was not given permission. I can't report them anymore because I can't. So, I mean, I can report them. I just can't, um, uh, tag them for censor or not censorship, but, um, having the same stuff as me. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that's not me. So don't listen to it. Just go to rumble or to my website. Go to rumble, go to Julie's website. If you, you'll see her on our channel, that's safe. Bo's channel, that's safe. They give information. Uh, we had to do the same thing. There was people actually did, they did. Oh my God. Impersonating me. Uh, our ministry using our symbols and everything mm -hmm. that's not mm -mm. so there's a lot of people out there that are not sent from god the bible tells us we can't be deceived all right and these are people trying to play off your emotions and uh so you don't want to subscribe to a channel that is not from god you have to use your discernment saints and i know you you you're, you're, you're out there you can do it it's no problem. So we will let you know. Julie will let you know. I will let you know. I'm sure Bo, Bo would let you know. And uh, Julie, where are you going to be this week? Uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina at the Reawakening. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> okay. So, so, so I'm going to try to do a raw uh, video. On, you know, and uh, so give it out there to, and we'll, 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 we'll kind of touch the basis about what's happening and keep people afloat, uh, you know, because, but you, you, you partners with it, that's with us and with Julie, you have to share, do your part in sharing it. You can, when you share it, 10, 20 people get it. Next, you know, you can, everybody can be uh, rerouted the right way. 
and I will give you up to date, just like I did with Crystal. I'll give you up to date about what's happening with Julie Green so we can keep that because we love her and we support her, okay? And it's going to be better and better than ever. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, man. Well, I just want to say thank you okay. to you and everyone who's watching. God bless each and every one of you. You you guys don't know how much, you know, how much we love you and appreciate you. And uh, I mean, how much we pray for you. And I mean, we all have to do this, what we're doing. And, and Manuel, I, I just don't know how to thank you enough for, for doing this today. And uh, it just, it, it, it blessed my heart when I, you text me and it just blessed my heart too, because I knew exactly what God was showing you was exactly what he had put in my spirit already. And so, I mean, it's just a confirmation after confirmation. And just let you guys know, I mean, we are all here for you. We may not know you personally, but we are all here for you. That's why God put us all here on all of these, you know, social media platforms. This is not something that we we chose to do. This was something that God chose us. And we're just willing, obedient vessels of Almighty God. God, these are God's words. I told you guys so many times before. These are God's words, what he wants. I've always prayed. God, what do they need to hear for this very day and this very hour? It is that encouragement that he wants to give you, the love that he wants to show you, and the truth. Because the truth sets you free. So I just want to say thank you. God bless you guys. We'll be on in a little while. Um, I think I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow. And because I want to teach you some things about what's going on with the Red Sea. And we're going to be praying for you wonderful saints. And, uh, you know, let the Lord use you. So share it. Remember, Julie Green. Rumble.com. Rumble.com. Julie Green. So, you know, there's a link right there, right there. Go right underneath. There's a link. You get it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And we'll, we'll be keeping you updated. I'm not trying to sound like a broken CD. Okay. But you know what? We, sometimes we got to hear things more than once before we re goes in deep, deep, deep. But she will be back. All right. She will be back on YouTube. All right. Watch how the Lord works it out. Glory to God. Amen. So as I say always, all right, the good news is, come on, the good news is that the bad news didn't work out. We are living in glory days. Order your hats. Order it. I'm serious. Be blessed. Go to megapraiseministries.com, and we'll see you guys next time. Love you guys so much. All righty? God bless you. Bye-bye.